Hey guys, it's Donnie and Tim with Boat Lift Helper. Uh, it's September 14th. We're taking our boat lift out here. And of course, we've got our Boat Lift Helper system on our boat lift. Here's what we're going to use today to air up the bags. It's a nice option if you don't have full power down by the water. We've got a battery here, a power inverter rated at 1100 watts, and then a pump. Now this is a new pump for us. This is going to be our first time testing this one out. But the inverter, it's got the alligator clips, clips onto the battery there. And then on the side or the end of it, it's got your plug in where you'll plug your pump into. So we'll be using this today. This pump, uh, I think it's going to be working out pretty well. Um, it's rated for a high, high, uh, higher pressure and a really high volume. So it should be a nice quick option. So let's give it a go. Got the valve assembly all hooked up there. So with our system, you don't have to get in the water, reattach anything, lift anything. Uh, we're going to inflate the bags now. And you'll see when we inflate that we always focus on one bag at a time. And after one raises up to the surface, continue to inflate that bag till it's hard as a rock. So we'll give her a go and see how it goes. All right, so it took us two minutes to inflate both bags. That was really quick as far as uh, any sort of pump or air compressor goes. But as you notice, when we were inflating it, we only did one bag at a time, and after that first bag rose to the surface, we continued to inflate it till it was nice and full. If you stop inflating it after it pops up, the bag is still underinflated, which can create some stability issues. So we want you to fully inflate the bags. Uh, same thing with this second bag here. After the first bag was fully done, Went to the second bag, it popped out of the water, and then we continue to inflate it until it's nice and full. And make sure that you always have at least two guys. First time, three or four works out nice too. So we're going to now put our wheels back on, which is easy to do since this side beam is fully out of the water. So we're gonna put the wheels on, um, drag it out, take the bags off, and we'll go from there. This is a pure pleasure, 3,000, 3,400 pound lift with a 24 foot canopy, 108, 24 foot. So, all right, put the wheels on and go from there.
Here's our valve assembly. The top three-way valve is how you inflate, deflate, hold the air. This little piece that's sticking out here is a relief valve. So if you get over three PSI, it'll start pushing back out. If you're using an air compressor, same fitting just like on your car, truck, or bicycle tire, we've got a tank valve or Schrader valve. Um, alternatively, if you're using a, a raft inflator pump like we did today, you'll just hold the nozzle directly into that open port. So that's how you inflate with a raft inflator. Center always holds the air. No air can get in, no air can get out. Uh, air compressor, turn it that direction. So again, uh, holding air, air compressor, raft inflator. That's also how you deflate since there's no obstructions there. Once you open that up, that's how you deflate the bags. And then after the season, uh, say during summer or at the end of the season, turn it back to the center and then we give you little silicone plugs that plug into both of those ports so bugs don't crawl in there and clog up the hose lines. So. <clears throat> so these are now 12 years old. We've never cleaned them. We try and pretty much abuse them as hard as we can to find their breaking point. But they're 12 years old. There's a lot of changes on our system now, like the L bracket, so that's not what the current system looks like. But uh, now that it's on land for winter, we do recommend take the bags off and store them away. All right, so to take the bags off, we've got these three carriage bolts. We've already got that bag off over there. But once you remove these three carriage bolts, You'll pull them out, you'll loosen the fastener on the back of the older system, it's a wing nut. The newer system, it's uh, brass lock nuts. So you'll have to remove the fastener back there. Pull those carriage bolts out. And then once you get that step done, then the next step is to detach the hose. Now, we have an accessory which we call our brass couplers. That make it easier and quicker to take the bags on and off. And those are these fittings right here. So once we remove these bolts, Get those through. <clears throat> now the next step is to remove at the brass coupler. They're just threaded. We'll unscrew them. If you don't have this coupler and you want to take the hose apart, detach it at the brass T, not the plastic elbow. So, but opt into this. If you don't have it, you can always get it down the road. Great little feature to make it quicker and easier. Once that's there, slide it away. Now if you want to, you can clean these. You can pressure wash them off. You could, if you really want to clean them, you could use Simple Green or 409. Uh, we've never cleaned these. These are 12 years old now. They're original bags, some of our very first prototype bags. But we're trying to find their breaking point. If you want to take them off, clean them, go ahead. Storm away, it doesn't have to be necessarily somewhere that's heated, but if you can get it out of the snow UV, and most importantly out of the reach of critters that maybe chew on the bags, um, go ahead and do that. If you did get a hole in it during the season or in the winter time somehow, it is field repairable with a patch and some sealant. So you can either kind of do a do-it-yourself repair, or if you want, you can always send it back to us and we can fix it up for you. 